Rose was just asking us, oh, well, when she said, you know, Claudia, when you learned Ayurveda, was, did it, what was your question? Was it? Well, was it this condensed? Was it this condensed? And concise. And concise. And, concise. and, and oh, and oh is the answer. I mean, no. Not yes. No, it was so, no, it was so hard to get any information. You know, the, even the nice little chart with the Datus and Upadatus or, and the Srotamsi where you, where you talk about and how the Datus are formed, it took me, I, I, I'm making this number up, but it must be roughly right, seven years to get the basics in Ayurveda. And it was so hard, and, I'll, and I listened to beginning stuff, and I read what I could find, and some of it was crazy, you know. There was, and often what it was is like students' notes that some, you know, Dr. Laud was around, and he, and he had a student who took some notes and then Xeroxed them, and that went around for a while, but it was like full of mistakes. And, and I was in India, and, you know, I really wanted to get into the BAMS program, tried to, tried to for a year and couldn't and so I was getting some information here and some information there and some information from this doctor and some from this person and 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 a lot on my own and then when I would run into problems I'd you know write Dr. Svoboda and be like oh, uh, what is this about you know when I'd hit a wall and um, and he'd help me through that he was never he was never sitting down with me and saying, this is the upadatus and this is the this. It was not like that. It was just when I would run into a real problem with like, I, what? Then I got, could get in touch with Robert. But um, it was really hard to find. Now you've got the opposite problem where you've got so much information that it's hard to know what is the most accurate. It's still, there's still different challenges, but... Oh, it took so long to, to, to have, have it make this much sense. You know, and then took a lot of time in, in clinic to kind of work it out and see what worked clinically and so forth. And just imagine 15 years earlier how the situation was. Well, you had the good karma to be in a BAMS program at it is, least. It is true, and that was, <clears throat> and I... Got to Bombay, I met somebody who introduced me to 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 Pandit Shiv Sharma, who gave me a letter to the college that said, admit this student, all within the space of three or four days. So that part was good. The being bitten by bed bugs five times a day for six years was less good. But apparently I needed to Here's something you can say. donate some blood. Here's something you can say for you. Yes. And pr I would say for me too. We paid our dues. Yes. Plus some, um, with taxes. I don't know about that, but certainly dues paying occurred. Dues paying. We paid dues. Dues Whether paying. We paid ho our... gaya. Yes. But I mean, so what you're teaching now in this, really in the one month. So what we're teaching now in the one month. In, in the courses that you took and did, how long, I mean, would, would that. Well, what does this represent? Over a year, two years, six months. Understanding it, or just your cold. As well as time. as uh, Again, like seven, so probably seven years of right. being actually taught it over maybe I don't know a year or something. Right. That's probably right. Yeah. being actually taught it, but the uh, things may have changed. But you know, back in my day. Uh, the way things were done in India was the teacher comes in, tells you a bunch of stuff, and you memorize it, and then it all gets vomited back onto the paper, and then depending on how well you vomit, that determines what kind of grade you get. So there is no strong enthusiasm to for integrate all the integrating material. everything. And back in the Ayurvedic college at that time, there was a big ongoing debate slash conflict between whether Ayurveda should be more on the pure side and whatever that meant versus more on the integrated side and whatever that meant. And that was, there was also some uh, political things going, and they, so there was a very complicated situation of different groups of people jockeying for position and trying to interpret this, the, the whole system in, from a couple of different, significantly different perspectives. So that also 
made the understanding the material a little more ca uh, challenging because you had some people uh, sure that it meant this and other people sure that it meant that and then you'd ask someone else and they were sure it meant another thing. And I don't know if you had this but when I went to BHU, Benares Hindu University, I was studying Hindi there mostly for the purposes of getting a year-long student visa so I could stay in India for a long time. The classes that I took there you'd bother to go all the way out there in the heat and misery that is India and you'd you know get on your bike and you'd go all the way out there and be hot and whatever and you're feeling like crap and you show up and half the time the teacher didn't show up and a quarter of the time it was some holiday that nobody bothered to mention and then the other quarter of the time was here memorize this and there were riots there were the, there, and there were there riots were and buns and you know there were Saduka Julus. Yeah. There was all kinds of stuff going on. Curfews and curfews. Yeah. So there would be t all kinds of interruptions. So a year of classes probably turned out, and I'm making up this statistic, but probably turned out to be about 35 percent of the time you'd actually have a class when you show up. It was more of that in Pune. I mean, it was more like 75 cent percent in Pune. Part of the reason there were the teachers occasionally would not show up is because... 75% you'd have your classes yes. run and just 25% not? Right, because part of the time maybe the teacher was busy off in his clinic or her clinic, but sometimes it was because many of the instructors didn't actually speak English and they were supposed to be speaking English at least for the per first two or three years after which everybody started speaking Hindi. So, but by then I could understand Hindi, so it wasn't such a big deal. But since they couldn't really speak English perfectly, many of them just avoided coming. And of course, there were many teachers who their idea of teaching was simply to open the book and read, and then uh, in, in a way that was convenient because, you know, if somebody was reading to you, it's kind of like an audio book. Um, but I was very fortunate because, at least at that time, the, there were many very good teachers, including, of course, Dr. Lott, and his main teacher, Wade Dinanel, who was a very brilliant doctor. But there were a number of, you know, dedicated people. The anatomy professor was very dedicated. Many of the people were quite interested, though uh, many of them were not at all interested in, or not particularly interested in Ayurveda. Many of them were much more interested in modern medicine, but that was useful, too. Yeah. It's useful stuff to study. Very useful. But integrating everything did not really happen. No. And of course, back then, uh, you know, the idea was very much, you went to the college during the day, and it was unspoken, but the impl everybody knew that what you were supposed to do then is find somebody, another doctor to apprentice to, and spend your afternoon apprenticing with that doctor and really learning how to put things together. So that's what I mean. Because this is integrated and condensed, we can feel okay about not totally digestible. Really, all it's kind of so like the question that, is: Wait, let's re kind of like the, today's cheesecake. Wait, wait, wait! Before yes, you answer, exactly. for the people at home. So the question is: Is so we shouldn't feel so bad about not integrating all of this condensed material right away? Uh, it, and uh, today at lunch, uh, some of us had cheesecake for dessert, and uh, there was an observation made by my colleague Dr. Welch here that a piece of cheesecake is a piece of cheesecake. An entire cheesecake is many pieces of cheesecake. See, that's just how smart I am. Could you imagine coming up with that? Um, and while it may be possible to digest one piece of cheesecake at one time, digesting more than one piece of cheesecake over any limited period of time is, is a challenging thing to do, unless yeah, you have See, you had to be there Agni to Sar. understand the brilliance of that. It's all in the cheese. Is it all in the cheese? Uh, it's all in the cake, really. Mm. The cheese is in the cake. The cheese stands alone. Um, you should not feel bad about not integrating this stuff. Where do, you, where do you go from here is one of the questions that's up. It's like, where are we going to go from here? What are we going to do? We'll talk about that at the end of the course. And if we forget, remind us. But the m important thing is to keep it alive somehow keep this alive. You, many of you have done it since taking last year. You took in, you know, at home whenever you took it, but in this room many people took it last year. 
and w they were able to keep it alive through different ways. We talked about that off camera for a little bit, but some people are working with people, some people are continuing to take classes in other places, keeping it alive until it get becomes really integrated and, and you really need to work with, with people to do this, to, ke to keep it alive, I think. And, and this is also like learning a language. You, you, m when you're studying it, you get a lot of, you take a lot of notes, you, you, uh, you, you get a lot of recorded uh, 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 examples of how to, constructions and so on. And then you have to work with each one. Uh, you, 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 you take an example and, uh, uh, I don't know, the way I do it is wait for an example, uh, wait for an opportunity to use it in conversation. So in this case, it would be wait for an opportunity to use it in a practice. So where you see that it applies, and then once you see that it applies, then it means something to you. So you wait, 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 and, some, and, and suddenly one day, you're with someone and you see there is a monkey in a tree and you can say le singe oh, je, je sur la branche <laughs> and you're very satisfied because you've, you've listened to Eddie Izzard and you've been waiting all this time to, you've already been able to say la plume de ma tante est sur la table because you have an aunt and she has a, she has a pen and there's a table. And there's a table. And, you, and can, a you can take the pen and you can put it on the table and you can say ha ha ha. <laughs> but, Getting the monkey into the tree is not as easy. That's a whole so when you ball see of wax. the monkey in the tree, you can say you're overjoyed because you can say le singe est sur la branche. Le singe est yes. sur la branche. Yes. It's very very satisfying. Yeah. So it's the same way with this. You take things out and you wait around and you look around and, and you think, well, okay, you know, shoot Krasar. And then one day you look at George Clooney and you think, whoa, shoot Krasar. <laughs> Now I understand what that is, or whatever it may be. But you won't think that if you n don't keep it alive. You'll forget even the concept of Shukrasar. So you kind of so when you're learning go back the language, and watch the video. Go, you know. You 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 mm -hmm. keep listening to it. You listen to people uh, talk it. You listen to songs. You watch movies and <coughs> in that language, even if you can't understand anything. So that you'll hear the patterns of the language, you'll hear how people speak them, and learn proverbs. And that's what these subhashi yesterday that that Deiri Mesa is a subhashita, one of the uh, one of the texts that we studied, and when we were in the very beginning of the Ayurvedic College was called Vaidyakiya Subhashitani. So the um, uh, 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 sayings that are appropriate for st Vaidyas, students of Ayurveda. So these were just, you know, verse two line, usually two line verses. And um, uh, they're easy to remember because they're in verse and they give you a little perspective on one thing and you take advantage of that little perspective and that perspective you never know where that will lead you to. Thank you.